Alright, uh, tonight we will uh, we'll discuss the musculature of the tongue, uh, both the intrinsic muscles as well as the extrinsic muscles of the tongue. Now all of them can be appreciated on CT as well as on an MRI, however MRI has its superiority to CT when coming to, uh, when dealing with this musculature. So uh, let's see and let's uh, delineate every each and every muscle uh, based on MRI sequences as uh, well as uh, most of them that can be appreciated on a CT scan. Starting with the musculature of the tongue, uh, one thing important to note it is that all of the muscle of the tongue cannot be visualized in a CT. Um, obviously, we are talking about an enhanced uh, contrast, enhanced CT. Uh, everything, uh, every muscle, every extrinsic muscle, as well as differentiating between the intrinsic and the extrinsic muscles, uh, it is not possible, clearly possible on a CT. However, uh, the gold standard modality that is used for this purpose is an MR. The T1 MR, uh, the T1 sequence of, of the MRI is uh, visualizes the, mm, the tongue anatomy at its best. Now starting with the conventional uh, CT uh, taken at the, ba uh, at the level of the mandible where you can visualize this, uh, this tongue. Uh, this is a contrast enhanced CT in which the uh, musculature and the fat can be visualized. Uh, more uh, better than 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 an unenhanced. Now here in the anterior region, what you see, this is the mandible. Uh, <coughs> uh, this uh, rectangular structure, which you can appreciate, it is the uh, the, the genioglossus muscle. Uh, this is a sort of a rectangular, squarish type of muscle, bulky one, uh, present anteriorly. And behind it, here you, if uh, if you can appreciate this. Uh, this hypodense uh, a line, a linear uh, hypodense area. Behind it, it is the these are the uh, the the intrinsic muscle of the tongue, and uh, on both of the sides, there you can visualize the pterygoid muscles, not the muscle of the tongue, basically. And this is the peripharyngeal space, and this is the uvula which you see around, and this is the oropharynx. Now, coming on to the next slide, <coughs> uh, this is again you see this squarish sort of a muscle. Uh, this is the genioglossus and uh, these are the, uh, on the on the lateral aspect of it uh, these are the submandibular glands uh, so sorry the sublingual glands what you see uh, here the hypodense area in the midline this is basically the lingual septum and behind it is the intrinsic muscle of the tongue this uh, structure which you see if you can appreciate it uh, it is the posterior belly of the digastric and this is the myelohyoid muscles. All right, on both of these sides, these are the myelohyoid muscles, and this is the posterior belly of the gastric. This is the intrinsic muscle. Uh, this is the lingual septum, and this is the genio genioglossus. Um, the sides, uh, the slide uh, inferior to it, this would become this genioglossus would become this the geniohyoid muscle. Here, in the next slide, you can appreciate this sort of a V structure. This muscle is the geniohyoid muscle, starting from the genio to corporal and up to area where, where it will uh, originate or you can say insert into the hyoid bone. Uh, this uh, hypertense area which you see beside it, it is the sublingual gland, and this is the uh, this is the mylohyoid. All right, this is the mylohyoid, and uh, this is the digastric muscle which you see medial to it okay so this is the um, mylohyoid this is the digastric muscle this is the geniohyoid and this is the lingual septum and this uh, hypotense area which you see here you you can again see it over here this is the sublingual gland uh, these are the palatine ton uh, tonsils uh, very hard to differentiate between the intrinsic muscle of the tongue and from where the pharynx is started and these are the uh, the pharyngeal tonsils now uh, coming on to the next slide here what you again see this is the genioid muscle and this is the the mylohyoid all right uh, this is the mylohyoid and this uh, 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 small um, separate uh, structure if you can appreciate this is the this is the posterior belly of the digastrix all right, uh, this is the posterior belly of the digastric, and here uh, beside it, uh, lateral to it, it is it, it is the submandibular gland. You can appreciate it over here and here bilateral submandibular gland. 
and this is the facial vein that is crossing it uh, these these are uh, these hyperdense areas this is the facial veins now uh, on a corbel uh, section here what you see is the uh, these are the intrinsic muscle of the tongue and here it is the genioglossus and this is the geniohyoid muscle and uh, here uh, what you see uh, these are the uh, th uh, this is basically the mylohyoid and these are the anterior belly of the digastric so on the lateral sides <coughs> again intrinsic muscle of the tongue um, this is the geniohyoid this is the sorry this is the genioglossus and this is the geniohyoid both of the sides these are the uh, the digastrics and the anterior belly of the digastrics and uh, here what you see is uh, the the mylohyoid uh, which would uh, insert into the the base of the mandible uh, this digastric is basically the uh, the differentiating line between the head and the neck again uh, similar slide mm, we don't need to talk about it mm, again uh, here you can vaguely appreciate all of these muscles um, it's, it, it looks like a like a single structure but here it is these are the mylohyoid uh, this is the geniohyoid this this here it would be the genioglossus and uh, here are the intrinsic muscles now uh, MR MR is the gold standard for visualizing the uh, the anatomy of the the musculature of the tongue. Uh, this is the gold standard modality. This is basically a T1 sequence image uh, taken at the level of the base of the mandible. Uh, here you can appreciate the tongue, uh, the anterior part, which includes. Uh, this is the genioglossus muscle. This uh, sort of sort of a rectangular muscle which you see is the genioglossus muscle and these are these are basically not the muscles uh, these uh, hypo intense area as compared to the muscles these are the sublingual glands alright these are the sublingual glands this is the mm, here what you see is the mylohyoid muscle alright on the lateral aspect the posterior lateral aspect the, uh, of this mandible here what you see are the mylohyoid muscles and medial to it and now this one is the posterior belly of the digastric and this is the and th these are the intrinsic muscle of the tongue okay uh, here what you see is the uh, the bilateral submandibular glands which you see on the posterior lateral aspect of the tongue now uh, another slide inferior to it here you see the lingual septum and there what you see is the the genioglossus muscle interiorly to it and these are the ins intrinsic muscle of the tongue these bulge out structures posterior to it these are basically the palate and tall cells sorry the the, the pharyngeal tonsils and this is the oropharynx here again you see the genioglossus, the lingual septum these are the submandibular uh, sub sublingual glands and here what you see it is the mylohyoid muscle now uh, this curved muscle which you see bilaterally this is the hyoglossus alright this curved muscle which you see it is the hyoglossus muscle maybe it is a more appreciable on the uh, next slides yeah this one but this is the hyoglossus muscle this curved muscle which you see this is the this uh, muscle anterior this is the uh, uh, this is taken at the level of chin so this would be the geniohyoid muscle okay this is the genioid muscle. Uh, however, if you uh, see the uh, the uh, the slides which were superior to it, we are going to the the, uh, the back slide. Here, what you see, 
this is a slide taken uh, superior to this one all right here you can appreciate the um, uh, these structures uh, th these hi uh, hyper hyper intense areas uh, which are basically sockets and and at this level this would be the genioglossus muscle however at this level this would be the geniohyoid muscle all right uh, so geniohyoid is always present uh, inferior to the genioglossus and only the d differentiating point between both of them is that at what level the slide was taken basically taken at what level the slide was taken if it is inferior slide this would be the genio gloss uh, so sorry the, uh, the genio hard muscle however in the superior slide it would be the genio glossus muscle now this curved muscle which you see here this is the hyoglossus muscles now this cannot be appreciated on a CT scan even on an enhanced CT which we uh, previously uh, I showed to you uh, this uh, uh, this hyoglossus muscle cannot be appreciated on a s on a CT. And um, again, coming on to this slide, uh, this is the the mylohyoid. Uh, this is the hyoglossus. Uh, this is the genio the geniohyoid muscle. And on the, the lateral aspect of the geniohyoid, it is the sub uh, sublingual glands. And here it is the submandibular gland on both of the sides. Here is the ins intrinsic muscle, and this is the the oropharynx. <coughs> Again, uh, even below the image, uh, here you see is the chin. Uh, th this is basically the base of the mandible, the chin. Uh, this is the geniohyoid muscle. This is the lingual septum. Uh, here it is the mylohyoid muscle, and here what you see these two hyperintense areas. These are the posterior belly of the digastrix and on, on the lateral aspect of both of these, these are the bilateral submandibular glands. Next slide again, here you can visualize the genio, the genio hard muscle. And now uh, the coronal, uh, as far as this coronal CT is concerned, the superior most, uh, you would see the intrinsic muscles this one, this sort of, of a, a, a mixed uh, hypo and a hyper dense area in the middle, it is the genio glossus muscle, and this is the genio hard muscle. And uh, this is the mandible basically, and uh, these uh, hyper intense area that is surrounding it is this is basically the cortices. And the why uh, these uh, this this mandible is, is appearing uh, hyper intense. Uh, it's because of the bone marrow that is present in it. Again, intrinsic muscle. The it's very easy. This is the genio, uh, the genio glossus muscle, and this is subsequently the genio. Uh, this is the genio hyoid muscle. And here, what you see are both the anterior bellies of the digastrix. Okay, this, this, uh, these are the uh, the anterior belly of the digastrix. Uh, this is the mm, the genio the genio hard muscle. Uh, this is the genio glossus. These are the int intrinsic muscle of the tongue. Here you can see a s a squarish hyper uh, intense area as compared to the nearby tissues. And this is the mandible. Here uh, at this level, where you can appreciate the submandibular gland, uh, these are the uh, submandibular glands bilaterally present. These triangular shaped structures uh, seen on the coronal aspect of the MR. Uh, this is the medial pterygoid, and uh, this is the basically the palate. Uh, these are the intrinsic muscle. This is the genio glossus. This is genio hard, and uh, here what you see, these are. Um, these are basically the anterior belly of the digastrix. Here, what you see is the masseter muscle, and above you see this is the mm, the lateral pterygoid that is going a very short, small muscle. <coughs> so, okay.
cane you can see appreciate the palate the intrinsic muscles the genio uh, the genioglossus genio hard and uh, the submandibular glands bilaterally present and here what you see are the uh, this is basically the, the anterior belly of the digastric muscles present bilaterally you can see here all right uh, this was all about the tongue anatomy thank you for watching if you like this video uh, please hit the like button below and uh, please subscribe to our channel for more videos and uh, if you have any knowledge to share on uh, the regarding the radiology of the max factor uh, region uh, please share it in the comment section below and uh, thanks for watching i love this